<laughs> okay, happy Mother's Day. On this Sunday morning, I'm going to be doing the Stoner Brake Dust Eraser wheel cleaning pad and their new gel wheel cleaner. Before we get started, though, shout out to Stoner. Thank you very much. I'm humbled. Uh, they sent me this to try and to post, so I'm going to get with it. This is the only car that has any uh, kind of brake dust or super dirty wheel. It also says you can use it on tar or bugs, um, and it's a non-acid formula. So I'm going to try it on the front fender on a bug, a little bug panel here. and then. Um, but first, let's get on the wheel and tire real quick. I'm not going to scrub with a brush. I'm going to scrub with their pad, and the wheel cleaner says to dwell for about 30 seconds. So let me get you adjusted here. And let's get on it. I like this little pad. I have found these as cheap as like eight bucks and as high as like, I think 15 bucks, which at that point for 15 bucks, I wouldn't buy it. Just saying. Gotta get a little dwell time going. I'm gonna do half the wheel. That way we can compare, right? Doesn't really smell offensive. In fact, I can't smell it at all. So that's a good thing. I'm gonna do half the tire too, I don't know. Some of this little uh, gummed up wheel jam here. I don't know, a little bit of dirt. I don't know what's on this fender well or this lower rocker here, but I'm gonna coat them up anyway and just see without agitation if it removes any of that dirt and grime. I'm gonna get the pad a little bit wet. I haven't been timing this, but I'm assuming it's time to clean. 30 seconds is pretty quick. So, these are kind of plastic coated too. I wish I had a different wheel to do this on. But, in the fleet of cars that I have, this is the best candidate today, so. I can see that the bubbles are already looking kind of crappy so I think it's working this isn't intended for a tire but as I put it on the tire I'll use it on the tire it's not really what it's intended for all right just rinse and see I think that's pretty much as simple as it should be Now my daughter's going to be driving around today with a half clean wheel. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Hope she doesn't see that. She might get mad at me. So it's really hard to tell with a wet wheel, right? Of course, it looks super clean. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and rinse the areas around the uh, fender well and see if it took off the grime. Let's just try that. Did a good job. So back here, I don't know if you guys saw that at the angle you were at. It was kind of pretty dirty right in here. There's still some spots, but it got some of the big lugers off of that. So I'd say it's pretty effective on this. It's going to boil down to cost. We'll come back to that wheel when it dries out a little better. Let's do these bugs right here. Can you see the bugs? You can see them. Let's do the bugs. 20 seconds, no agitation. Anything will work with agitation. Let's try this. Just gonna let it dwell and rinse it. Yeah, it's probably pretty good now. See if we can erase that those bugs without any agitation. I hope so. Nope. Eh, a few of them. Okay, guys. So you know what? Overall, it works pretty good. It's going to just boil down the cost, what the retail cost is going to be. So, being that this is mainly for uh, brake dust with the eraser scratch pad, the scrub pad. That's hard to tell on that wheel still, but 
I can see all kinds of grime coming off those wheels when I was cleaning them. It's just really hard to tell when they're still wet, right? But you can tell a difference right here. I mean, if you look here, really hard to see that versus here that was not cleaned. Cleaned, not cleaned. It did work. It appears to have worked very well. And then back here, it didn't really remove much, but it did remove a couple of the big spots here. There's still some little ones here. I don't know what those are. I might have to magic erase those. Pretty grimy. I don't know what my daughter has run through, but it did take some of this off. Does it erase everything? No. But these, these spots were done without agitation, right? So that's kind of hard to do, to remove things without touching them. Unless it's a chemical that's specifically for like the tar. And they said it would work on tar. I believe it would, but it would have to dwell and you might have to have multiple applications. But as far as the wheel goes, I know this is going to be a crappy view, guys. But if you look at this spoke versus this spoke, not cleaned, cleaned, you can see a difference in them. And then over here on the bugs... It didn't remove all of them, but there was, I don't know, a handful of them that did fall off. So, do I think it's super effective on bugs? If you had mild agitation, yes. But just to dwell and rinse, probably not so good. So, at the end of the day, guys, my recommendation would be it is worth it and it is effective. Now, here's what you got to do, though. I think you have to buy them in the combo. The wheel cleaner and the eraser. Scrub pad. This is definitely a non-scratch pad. Feels very good. Um, I've actually looked for these to buy aftermarket, and I've had some pretty close to this, but never this soft. So this is a decent pad. Again, I think everything's going to boil down to cost. So that's it, guys. Kind of a quick video on this Mother's Day weekend. Had to get this out. I promised stoners I'd get it out. So that's it, guys. Check it out. If it's a affordable retail, I'd pick it up. Definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching.